Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book, the GMAT Review, the official guide. You must have this book. If you don't have one, purchase one immediately. If you if you're sitting if you if you're thinking about sitting for GMAT, you can buy it at MBA.com. The problem that I'm about to solve appears on page number 159, problem solving number 58. <coughs> Let's get going then. If after watching the clip you 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 decide that you would like to purchase the DVDs that I have, which contain solutions to all the math problem in this book. Send me an email. Go to www.prepprepfor4gmat.com. Or if you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, I'm located in Connecticut. I'm willing to come to you wherever you are, as long as uh, as long as we can we can come to an agreement. Let's solve this problem. Page one, page uh, problem number fifty-eight. It says, if x squared equals 2 times y cubed, and we are told that 2y equals 4, the question is, what is the value of x squared plus y? Alright, sounds straightforward. You see, you have two equations here. There are two equations here. Which equations do I start with? Don't start with the first equation just because it's the first bloody equation. Start with the one that is easier. If there are three equations, start with the easiest one first. This one I find easier. Let's solve for y. If 2y equals 4, y would have to be 2. Now that I have a value of 2 here, a value of y here rather, I'm going to put it in here and find out the value of the x squared. I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out the value of x because I don't need to know that. I only need to know the value of x squared. Let's find it. 2 times y cubed, y is 2, so it's 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8, times 2 is 16. So x squared is 16, y is 2, we are done. x squared is 16, y is 2, voila. We are done, that's it. The answer is, answer is E. Uh, listen, in the previous clips, I tried to explain that I, I will have a system of solving two problems in one, one clip and then uh, uh, 51, 52 in one clip and 53, 54, 55 in the other clip. I have changed my mind. Uh, what I found is sometimes when I try to solve three problems in one clip, I have to rush and I don't like rushing. Solving one problem is one thing. Teaching and explaining something to somebody is entirely another thing. I want to explain and teach concept so that you understand it. I don't want to just stand here and solve problems after problems after problems that you can find anywhere on the YouTube. There are many videos, many people have put together videos where they solve problems one after the other like a machine. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to, so I, 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 I have decided to adapt a new system where I'm going to do pairs of questions in one clip. I'm going to start at 58, this is it for me. The next clip I'm going to do 59 and 60 and then 61, 62, 63, 64 and so on and so forth. You get the idea. It's going to be pairs. Odd and even, odd and even. Alright, so I'm done here. You will see me again in the next clip with the question number 59 and 60. Thank you. Send me an email if you wish to upload my videos right away as soon as, uh, as soon as the, if you wish to get my videos, if you get, wish to be known of uh, the time when I upload my videos on the YouTube, subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Alright. And send me an email regarding the DVDs if you like, or if you wish to talk to me about hiring me yeah, for personal tutoring. Thank you.